When we synchronize an SAP client, we will get a lot more information than just only about the SAP client. The SAP client table is a system-wide table, so when we synchronize a specific client, we will get the list of all clients on that system, as well as the login languages or licenses that are available on the system since licenses and login languages and printers are configured per system. In this scenario, we have the client 400, which is the client that we have synchronized in our identity manager environment. And in the uh, client 400, we have 14 user accounts, uh, 4,000 SAP roles, profiles, um, and companies, cost centers that you can see here in that system overview. So when I just jump to a specific user account, in this case, it is Charles Purchasing, uh, you can see that the user account is linked to a specific client, is uh, linked to an employee, and that a specific role has been assigned to this user account. As you can see, this role has also um, sub-roles. In this case, this role is a composite role. Um, composite roles are roles that are containing other roles, and roles it's themselves can contain SAP profiles. When I jump to specific SAP profiles in the environment, you can see there's a lot of SAP profiles available. I'm just selecting a generated SAP profile. And as you can see, that profile is linked to a single role. That role is assigned to a system and to a client. What we can also see in this environment that the profiles can contain SAP authorizations which is also being synchronized through the SAP connector. When I look into the details of a profile, we can see the contents that are being synchronized through the SAP connector. Identity Manager is capable of provisioning user accounts into SAP, changing them and deleting them in uh, the system that is being connected. As you can see on this screen, we have purchasing charts that has a user account assigned to him. What we can see in the details of that user account is the information that is being provisioned into SAP. If you look into the uh, screen, you will see that this screen has been uh, designed pretty much like the SU01 transaction in SAP to maintain user accounts this data will be pre-filled based on account uh, definition information that can be assigned to an employee and will be pre-generated and provisioned into the SAP system. So if you want to create a user account in SAP, we can easily go to the manager and directly uh, create a new user account in the system or we can take an account definition that has been created for this SAP client and assign this account definition to an employee object that will auto create based on templates and definitions an a user account for this client. In this scenario, we will uh, create a user account directly in the SAP environment without uh, assigning the user account definition uh, to an employee. I'm going to enter the details. So, so once I've entered the details like client user account name, first name, last name, company details, the necessary information that are required for this user account. The provisioning into the target system will be um, started and the user account will be provisioned into the target system. The same can be achieved as described earlier by assigning an account definition to an employee object. So next I will select an employee and assign an account definition to that employee and the user account will be auto created for this employee. So I'm going to select the employee HR Frank who does not have a user account in SAP and I will just assign him an account definition 
which will create the user account for SAP and then provision the user account into my SAP environment. In this case, I'm selecting the account definition. As you can see, there's a list of account definitions and this is the account definition for client 400 in my Nedemo environment and I'm assigning the account definition to my user employee and the employee will get a user account created in this SAP client. Now that the provisioning to the target system has been successfully done, we will go into the SAP GUI and look how the created user accounts look like in SAP. Um, to review the SAP user account information, the transaction SU01 user maintenance uh, will be needed. And once we um, executed the transaction, we can enter the user account name. In our case, the initially created, directly created user account was called eStark. So I'm entering the eStark account name and by pressing on the um, display icon, we will get the user account information displayed in SAP. So as you can see, last name, first name uh, information has been synchronized. Login data um, has been synchronized. In this case, um, you can see when the user has been created until when the user account is being uh, valid. And the rest of the information will be empty since no information has been provided by me during the initial user account creation. So uh, when we go back and review the second user account that has been created by assigning an account definition to that employee, we can see that more information have been created in the SAP due to the uh, detailed information that are available to the employee record. So as you can see, in contrast to the user account, directly created user account, the HR Frank account has the department information uh, synchronized into SAP. This information has been derived from the employee record. The employee is being uh, assigned to the human resources department. So the human resources department has been provisioned to SAP as well. So when we look onto further information here, log on data, uh, you can see that the user type is dialog, that the user account is valid from and valid through um, dates has been set. Um, additionally, SNC information has been set, uh, although the SNC information in this example is not correct. The SNC information has been derived from the user account name, which can be changed accordingly um, based on the templates that are available. The defaults have been set in this screen. You can see the default information has been adjusted to be 24 hours format and the German um, date format. 